if you ever encountered this line, rest of the code remains unchanged, this video is for you. I wasn't sure whether or not I, I should start with this hook or should I use the hook that I've been using very often lately, which is basically Cloud Dev just got better. If I had one dollar for every update in the last month of Cloud Dev, I'd probably be rich. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a very interesting and exciting update for Cloud Dev slash Klein or C line or however you pronounce it. It's a rebranding that was done by Saud, which is the founder of Cloud Dev, which is doing amazing work. And I just wanted you to know that if you're watching this, we really appreciate what you're doing and building. Now let's dive into um, the update. The update, you can see it here in the releases in the GitHub repository of Klein. Obviously, if you don't know what is, I will just call it Cloud Dev because I prefer Cloud Dev. If you don't know what is Cloud Dev, uh, I highly recommend that you check it out. It's a very useful coding assistant, AI coding assistant. You can get it for free from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace. Come here to extensions, write Cloud Dev or C line, and then up, uh, upload it, uh, update or install it. Obviously, make sure that you tick this box so it will be uh, auto updated. Yeah, so the releases that happened, and these are the major ones. Let me see. It's actually not here, it's in the change log. These are the changes. The most major one is the fact that the system prompt from now on has been adjusted and I'll show you in a moment uh, so that uh, Anthropic or whichever model that you're using won't write rest of the code remains here, which is one of the most annoying things that uh, you can encounter as someone who is using an, an AI coding assistant. And it also throws a notification in case that the LLM did write um, this line, which is code remain unchanged or anything like this. This is the no notification you're going to get. It looks like this. Potential code truncation detected. This happens when the AI reaches its maximum output limit. You will obviously also see it in the diff view. Um, now let's cover a bit of nuances in the code, how it looks like. So basically what uh, Saud did here or the coding team of Claude, what they did, they are looking for specific keywords such as remain, remains, unchanged, rest, previous, existing, etc. This is the function. This is the um, warning and this is the adjusted prompt. So before, as you can see, I don't know if you guys know this feature by uh, GitHub, probably the coders know it and those who are new to coding don't necessarily know it. This is like the diff view of GitHub, but you can see what updated what changes happen in the latest commit. So before the content was required, the content to write the, to the file always provide the complete intended content of the file without any truncation or omissions. You must include all parts of the file, even if they haven't been modified. It is strictly forbidden to omit code with implementation remains unchanged or any other such placeholder. This is the new prompt, adjustment to the prompt. Content required, the content to write to the file always provide the complete intended content of the file without any truncation or omissions. You must include all parts of the file, even if they haven't been modified. And there was another update, uh, which you can see here in the fix lazy coding update, which is a bit more uh, thorough than this update. So content required, the complete intended content to write to the file, always provide the complete file content in your response without any truncation. This is non-negotiable. You must include all parts of the file, even if they haven't been modified. Failure to do so will result in broken code, severely impacting the user's project. It is strictly forbidden to omit unmodified file content. You are not allowed to use implementation remains unchanged or anything like this or any such other such placeholders. The system will crash and burn <laughs> if this directive is not followed. I love it. Um, by the way, if you are interested and I suggest that 
you and I suppose that you're interested and I suggest that you do this, check out the whole system, um, this whole this whole file, this whole prompt that uh, Saud wrote, because it's very interesting to see how good prompts are st being structured. I've been messing around a bit with uh, Claude since the update or Klein or C line since the update and I haven't encountered any any occurrences of um, the LLM writing back to me like anything like this code remains unchanged which is a good thing obviously prob probably the ad adjustments in the prompt are making a difference but obviously um, still if you're using the K AI coding assistant I highly recommend that you check out the diff view just to make sure that nothing changed and now you also have this notica notification which was added which is another layer of um, another layer notifying you about any changes uh, I, I know that this is something that people often do um, which I guess leads to bad results and this is just letting Claude Dev or any AI coding assistant just run, keep on pressing uh, generate or keep on pressing OK. I used to do it in the past until I realized it's it works fine at the beginning when you're just building the boilerplate or if you're just building tiny stuff with no iterations. But as soon as things become a bit more complex, there are many things that you need to do in order to rely heavily on the AI coding assistant. And I will probably record a, a, a whole video about this, like my learnings and how I implement or how I use AI coding assistance in a bit uh, larger projects. But like my most, I wouldn't say the most important takeaway, but most important guideline related to this is always make sure to validate uh, what the AI assistant has changed in your code. I know it sounds straightforward, but I was uh, lazy slash stupid enough not to validate what the AI coding assistant did before, and this yielded bad results. So from now on, I always make it a point to validate line by line. I know it sounds tedious and it might feel as if uh, we're just slowing down the AI, but eventually sometimes if you move slow, um, what's the cliche there? Never mind. <laughs> you you get the point. If if you do things good in the first time, it will lead great results, and you won't have to make many iterations and and re revise everything later on. So I highly recommend that you check out the differences between lines of code to make sure to validate on your own that the AI coding assistant didn't make any mistakes. But regardless, know that uh, Claude has been updated and it's now added this feature of notification or notifying you whenever there was an update. Uh, yes, I guess that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to share with you this uh, small uh, update, which is actually not small, a very exciting update uh, about this amazing project. If you have any questions, any suggestions, obviously leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.